Sean here, and we are with the band Alessana. What's going on? Hey. Uh, if you guys haven't heard them, you guys need to check them out. They're definitely yeah. kick ass. If you guys want to go around the room and uh, just tell us what you do in the band. Uh, my name's Jeremy. I play drums. Shane Crump, I play bass. Sean, I sing and play guitar. Alex, I play guitar. And Dennis, I scream. <laughs> Patrick, I play guitar. I yell at this microphone. <laughs> now, you guys have been jamming since 2004. Did you ever guys think that you guys still be rocking to this day? Absolutely not. <laughs> I never thought we'd make it through three shows. So. <laughs> That's really awesome. <laughs> now, um, how did it come about when you guys first, uh, you were guys were the first band on Tragic Hero Records, and uh, what was the inspiration behind your debut EP, uh, Try This With Your Eyes Closed? Do you want to take the business side of it? I'm talking about the EP. Oh, so you get the cool artistic side of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Now you go for the artistic part. Right. Right. I'll take the boring business part. Yeah. Of uh, the original EP it was just. Uh, I mean, we met kind of randomly, and we wanted to do you know the screamo style of band, but not so much as you know just crying about girlfriends and stuff. So we pulled a lot of stuff out of literature and uh, tried to do something different. Like Sean and I both really come from way big, like way different backgrounds. It's kind of clashed those two together. And people like it. As far as Tragic Hero, it was this guy, Tommy Lacombe, who was like a, I guess he made like hip-hop compilations. And he came out to a show and he was like, wow, you guys have inspired me to make a rock compilation. I love the rock thing. We're like, why don't you just start a label? And it actually worked and he started a label. <laughs> nice. The record was that, so. <laughs> Now in 2006, uh, On Frail Wings of Vanity and Wax did your first uh, full-length album and getting signed to Fearless Records, how did that make you guys you know, feel getting signed to a popular indie label like Fearless at that time? Go for it, Pat. How else do you think it felt? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we were actually, wasn't it the Carl's Jr. when we got signed? Yeah. And Bob, the owner of Fearless, came and was like, let's go out to eat. We're like, thinking maybe, oh, maybe we'll get off like stage. We had a Carl's Jr., which was cool because we love <laughs> Carl's Jr. But, and that's where we got signed. Carl's Jr. and yeah. lots of endorsements. Carl's <laughs> oh. Jr. Yeah. Carl's Jr. One dollar. Yeah, Spice what you can see. <laughs> where I'm from, it's called Hardee's. Yeah, Hardee's. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, uh, what was the inspiration behind your second full-length album, uh, Where It Mits Fates to Legend? Uh, the Brothers Root Fairy Tales. Again, like he was saying, we're, he and I are the lyric writers, we're both huge literary nerds. And we're like, how can we get nerdier than Greek mythology so we want fairy tales? That's they're pretty brutal, actually. If you read the original ones, they're not yeah, yeah, they're little, little kid stories that yeah, much. Exactly. terrifying. And then we've kind of made our own endings. We took each story that we liked, and then we're like, well, what if it ended like this? And that's kind of what we ended up doing. Now, what's the story behind your uh, music video, uh, Seduction, which was released in 2009? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember this one, because we were on a plane back from, like, yeah. Australia or Japan or something. Like, 20-hour flight. All of us sitting in that in the, in one row, just getting hammered on airplane airplane bottles, going, you know what's going to be really funny? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we went through a phase with our band where, because we're like fun, goofy dudes, and we kind of did, didn't want the only image out there to be like all dressed in black, so evil. Well, it's like it's not us at all. So let's make a music video where we act like idiots for three and a half minutes. Kind of backfired a little bit, but no, it worked. Uh, we didn't look like idiots. I slam dunked at the end. Yeah, <laughs> I got <a> slam dunked. <laughs> now on Punk Goes Pop Volume Two, what made you guys decide to cover Justin Timberlake? Uh, what goes around comes around. I remember that one. Justin Timberlake, new king sexy of pop, baby. Yeah. New king of pop. Come on, you can't go wrong with Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Uh, new Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> sexy as hell. Now, what's the inspiration behind your uh, your album, The Emptiness? That's my favorite album of all the albums. I think it kind of goes across the board with everybody, too. Yeah, yeah. I guess I took the last, that's a word that's basically Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's more of a, a spin-off, so it's less like a direct interpretation of the story. It's, uh, you know, us taking Edgar Allan Poe and all of his works and trying to use that as a vibe for the entire album, but it's start to finish one story, it which is yeah. completely different. It was our first self-written story. Like, he and I completely created it from scratch. Yeah. And with all the songs and the accompanying storybook, like, it was really a pretty massive undertaking. But it's de- it's but definitely changed our band, too. Like, our new record's going to be the same way. It's just sort of kind of hit the plateau that way with, like, we don't ever want to go back to any sort of interpretations. Like, we just want to keep writing our own stuff. Now, what made you guys decide to leave Fearless Records and join Epitaph? 
I just don't like anybody there. <laughs> I hate them all. I yeah, don't we fulfilled our contract. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, they're they're great, great people. I'm just kidding, but it's just our contract was up, and it felt like a growing period for us. And by resounding with them, it would just been more of the same thing. We want to try something new. Freaking Epitaph. Epitaph records coming out. No I, I grew up on Epitaph. So and Weezer, yeah. exactly. And now we're label mates with Weezer. And Come you found Glory. Uncle Trio, what up? <laughs> hey guys. Glory. <laughs> All the plugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys have any crazy fan or tour stories you'd like to share? I had, a, I had a kid <laughs> in Germany. The one that always sticks out with this question is asked is that I was just getting done off stage, you know, I took my shirt off, like, I sweat and profuse them out. Especially when I fly, like I can wring my shirt out and try to fill up a water bottle. So I'm trying to get back to the green room, push it to the kids. I just feel this little hand go down my back, and, like slide all the way down, and, like turn around. It's this little German kid. And he just like licks all the stuff. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, that's so gross. I don't even know how to respond. I'm like, I didn't even know that story. That <laughs> gross. <laughs> Any other stories? I got attacked by a security guard in South America who thought I was one of our fans chasing after us. That kind of sucked. And I had all my stuff with me too, so I got elbowed in the head. I'm like, come on, man, I know how to communicate with him because he's speaking Portuguese or whatever the hell he was speaking. And it's like, it's terrible. I get like attacked with all the other people. All right, and last but not least, what does the future hold for you guys? Uh, you guys have a new album, any videos, tours? What can your fans expect? Uh, new record, we go into the studio right after this tour and we plan on shooting another music video because we love doing the last one. And we're doing a tour this summer called the Summer All Stars Tour. It's us here in Bless the Fall. Uh, with three, three good draws, so. We actually just did Bless the Fall not too long ago. Hey guys, we've been touring with them since we were all like just just got into the industry, so it's yeah, kind of cool to see where we both come as bands and now we're on the same tour together. So. Heck yeah, I uh, do definitely appreciate you guys taking the time out. Again, Elisana, you guys definitely need to check them out. They're on Epitaph Records. Look for the new album. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's officially the first video interview where we've gotten to hear 